Hey friends! Alright, so today is a thrifting day, so we're going to be going to as many thrift stores as we can, and I'm going to be taking you guys with me to find treasures to sell online. I'll see you in there. So the first stop for me is always the shoes, and I was thinking about getting these paid shoes, but the sell through rate just wasn't there, but they were really cute. <laughs> if they were my size, I probably would have gotten them. Then I found these really nice leather sneakers, but I wasn't familiar with the brands, so then I ended up looking them up because I could tell that they were really high quality leather. The brand is called Casca, and they resell around $70 pre-owned, but they ended up being my husband's size, so now he has a nice new pair of sneakers. <laughs> So those are a really nice pair of minimalistic barefoot shoes. And so they have over 100% sell through rate. I'm thinking of selling mine between $45 and $50. Then I moved over to dresses. And in the dresses, I found this beautiful floral embroidered tunic top. It's from the brand Erratit Silent Journey. And this is a great brand to look out for. They're definitely known for their quirky and bohemian style clothing. Oh, I think this one is so pretty. This is a beautiful floral maxi crossover bust dress. And the brand is Wearward Fancies. And pre-owned they go for about $40 to $45. I really like this one. It's such a pretty boho peasant maxi dress. And the brand is Kindred and sometimes their items are sold at Anthropology. And I plan on listing mine for $40. I've talked about this brand many times before. It's Brian Walker. And this time I got lucky and I found two tops from them. Even better, they're the same style, just different colors, which will make listing them so easy. And since these ones aren't linen, which is what this brand is known for, I'm probably only gonna get 30 to $35 for them, but still a great find. I love finding black tie event dresses. This one is gorgeous and it's from Alex Evenings. And it has a strappy open back. It has floral lace and metallic all throughout it. It is stunning. So I am selective with this brand. It's Lulu's, but their maxi gowns do really well for me. And this just looks like such a pretty dress to wear as a bridesmaid or as a wedding guest. It's very pretty. And a new rack pulled out and there was this beautiful Cintron top in it. If you watched my last video and you know that this is a great brand to find. I love the shell buttons and the floral print. Even better, it's 100% silk. Hoping to get around $60 for this top. Oh, this is a good find. <laughs> this blazer is 100% linen and it's the Regent Blazer from J. Crew. This particular blazer from J. Crew does really well and can go between $80 to $100. Keywords that I would use for this would be academic, preppy, classic, and I would even put staple piece in my listing. Yay! <laughs> Three Eileen Fisher knit tops. I'm definitely taking those. So I've never heard of this brand, a young ballet. I looked it up just because of the, um, the label looked nice and then also the branding on it, and it had over 100% sell through rate, and they were going between $35 to $45. So I'll be taking this up. I was planning on only going in there for an hour and then I ended up being there for almost three hours. So <laughs> I'm gonna go to another one and I will see you guys there. So Flying Tomatoes is normally a brand that I pass on, but I couldn't leave this one behind. It's just so pretty. I love the exaggerated ruffles, the eyelet detailing, and the fact that it's a maxi dress is definitely a plus. Someone will need this dress for a vacation. <laughs> so here we have a couple bread and butter dresses, a nice Bowdoin floral dress, and a pretty dress from J. Jill. Each should get around $30 to $35. So I had to get this dress. It's not a brand that I typically pick up. It's Bohemian, and it's actually a boutique brand, but I couldn't pass this up. It is so stunning. I love the eyelet, the scalp detail. I love the bright, bold colors in it, and it is so fun. 
And then I found this JS Collection dress, and this is a brand that I've only ever found in blazers, and they tend to do really well for me. This is just so beautiful. I love the floral sequence all throughout it. And with anything with this much detail, I typically pick up because that is a sign that is high quality. And I plan on selling this dress for about $60. So this is from Torrid, and it's actually not just a dress, it's actually a swimming suit. And Torrid swimming suits do really well. Out of everything in Torrid, their swimming suits are actually one of my favorite things to pick up because they are very desired and they go between like 50 to $60. And since this one is brand new, I'm hoping to get 70 to 75. Three new with tags fig scrub tops, along with one pair of scrub bottoms, and I'm hoping to get about $35 per piece. And Figs is definitely a great scrub brand to look out for. Oh, this is the perfect winter sweater. It's the brand Garnet Hill. It's 100% merino wool and it has this beautiful Fair Isle print. It is stunning. I'm gonna be pricing mine at $40. J Jill is a brand that I like to pick up, especially in larger sizes. They sell really well. How cute is this skirt? I love the quirky bird print. It definitely looks like something Jess from New Girl would wear. The brand is Effie's Heart and it's a mod cloth brand. This brand always performs well for me and reliably sells quickly. Then I moved over to Pants where I found these awesome Driftwood jeans. Driftwood is a brand that is sold in Free People, the Anthropology, and also Sundance. So it's a great brand to look out for. And a big bonus, they were new with tags. <laughs> Currently flare jeans are really popular and I'm hoping to get around $90 for this pair. This is actually a recent pair of jeans from True Religion, and it's the 90s style, so it's baggy and oversized, and I'm hoping to get around $50 for these. So this is a brand that I've just recently become familiar with. The brand is Janji. I don't know if I'm saying that right. This is a great athletic brand and it sells really quick for me. Pants from this brand sell between $35 to $40. And while I was about to leave, I skimmed through the shoes again and I found these Hoka's and they're the Clayton model and I'll be pricing these at $50. So I was about to go to check out and they pulled out a new rack, so I obviously had to look through it and I'm so happy I did because they had two basically new Flax linen shirts. Flax is a great brand to look out for. They are well known for their linen pieces. Hoping to get around 40 for each of these. And on the same new rack, I found this Marina Wool Wilfred cardigan awesome scores right while I was walking out the door. Normally I go straight for the shoes, but this time I went to the new rack, and it's a good thing I did, because I found this basically new Givenchy tee. These go for around $250 to $300. Crazy find. Also on the new rack, just waiting for me, were these Free People jeans. These are awesome. They are flared leg, they have these stars on the butt, they are so cute. I absolutely love these. Somebody needs these. Okay, I just need to get these just because of the milk and cookies. These are really cool. Oreo collab with Champion. These are like in new condition. These look really nice. They're 10 bucks, but I should be able to sell them for like 40 to 45. Some bionic wedges, and they're like in new condition. I've never heard of this brand before, but I grabbed them because they were so unique, and it's a good thing I did. Yay! <laughs> so the day has finally come where I have found overalls for myself. <laughs> And even better, they are free people. I am so excited. <laughs> Diane von Furstenberg tends to sell pretty well for me. And this one is 100% silk and it should go for around $40 to $45. I love this Chevron abstract print. It's really fun. This is a Title IX dress and they always sell great for me. Keywords that I like to use for this brand are camping, hiking, athleisure, and outdoors. This should go for around $40. 
If you watched any of my other videos, you know that I love picking up fresh produce. Apples, carrots, celery. <laughs> no, but actually this vintage brand does really well. Their maxi dresses actually sell so quick for me and for around $40. This is a beautiful floral faux wrap dress from Plenty, and it's an anthropology brand. Just so pretty, and I could see someone wearing this for the holidays this year. And I'm gonna be pricing mine at $45. So I have found and sold this brand before, but this is the first time I found a vintage piece from them, and it's Betsy Adams, and I am in love with this one. <laughs> I love the glitter and the structured shoulders. It's very classy, but also sexy. And I'm hoping to get around $70 for this. I got this Allen Page dress just because it looks 90s and Y2K to me. And haltered top dresses are really popular right now. And so far my style based pickups are doing great. And I'm gonna be pricing this one at $40. And again, I picked this one up based on the style. It's definitely a bonus that it's also 100% silk. So not one, but two beautiful Scott McClintock dresses. I think these two might actually be my favorite dresses for this whole trip. I love the velvet and contrast satin with the purple one, and the bows are adorable. So cute. Then this brown one is covered in glitter and it has this elegant cowl neck back. Both of these are just stunning. And I will be pricing these each around $70. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. And if you feel like I earned a like on this video and your subscription, I would really appreciate that. But either way, I hope you guys all have a great day and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.